I don't need you to lot a bar for me. I know I'm super woman. I know I'm strong. <laughs> your girl Irina TL welcome back to my channel thank you for supporting the village content creator so today I want to take you through the final steps of making the bricks if you watched my old vlogs of when we we're making and laying out these bricks using hands uh, now this is the final process the final wax that are done to produce a finished brick welcome to my channel come with me so what happens after they are dried we have to to organize them to make a kiln you can make it smaller or bigger depending on the kind of bricks you have as i told you it is teamwork you cannot do this alone so you need a team of people that are hard working and ready to accomplish what you envision I must tell you it is not simple work at all so as we work as work goes on at least little breaks have to be taken like getting a drink so what these gentlemen are having it's it's a local brew called mkomboti it is originally from south africa i do not know how it got to east africa but why should i even wonder anyway we are all african so i should say it's a local african brew they say it's an energy drink a little alcoholic if it stays for long and ferments more but they like it so much <laughs> immediately after the break work resumes and we have to continue we have because we always say so little done and so much to do but let me tell you the speed at which these gentlemen work <laughs> i get tired so fast so i take my breaks as often as possible Sometimes the bricks find me at the top of the kill and then this time around get to see what the green plants around us look like. Because the kind of work done is heavy work, so must the meal be. It should also be a heavy meal. So today we are having wogali, which is maize flour made into porridge you make it thick and thicker they have to feed very well so that they work very well because after stacking the bricks in a kiln they have to be burnt to make them stronger we had to buy some trucks of firewood uh, from other people since we didn't have the firewood on our very own piece of land and we used three of these trucks A girl child is so early this morning. We didn't finish up yesterday with setting up this mister. So today, I have come so early to finish up and you guys, the part of it that is remaining needs some good, good number of bricks, but we made a huge loss, you guys. Even talking about it makes my heart bleed. Let me just show you a huge, like huge lot. You see that side? Most of them are broken. Even in those heaps, you still see a few. Uh, okay. Yes. So going to the other side. And now this heap that you're seeing here, that is only showing soil, all these were bricks. You guys, all these were bricks. Imagine, imagine you've paid for labor because we normally couldn't work on them alone like you saw last time in the previous videos i showed you we always had some guys come here help us yeah even us the family we join in but remember you paid them per brick and then this is the whole heap the one i'm standing on the whole heap that is destroyed <laughs> 
if you're not a strong-hearted person, honestly, you cannot continue. You can't. Imagine this entire heap. All this I'm standing on. And then those that were trying to sort. Me yesterday, I was so broken. But my brother is so strong. He told me, Yo, Irina, if you're going to be doing businesses, yeah, that's such stuff have happened. And it is only the strong that go on. And then we'll rip after. And nevertheless, we cannot focus on what we lost. But we can focus right now on what we have. Yes. So let me sort these ones that are a little moist so that by the time the guys come, they are a little dry because they dry so easily. Yes. After stacking the bricks and the kiln is made very well, we have to seal it all up and block air spaces so that during burning, we don't lose a lot of heat to the surroundings. So what is done, we get the mud, we make mud soil, mix it with the water, that is the mud, and then apply it all around the kiln. <laughs> I tell you guys, every part of this bricklaying process is not a simple one. <laughs> I don't need it to load a bar for me. I know I'm so full, man. I know I'm strong. <laughs> Once the working hours for our helpers are done, of course they prepare themselves and go. So we have to finish up the remaining works. Here we had to add another layer on top of the kiln. After putting on the mud, we realized we need another layer on top where we shall put the grass after. So me and my brother, <laughs> we are the only people present. Only people present. And we had to do this. We had to do this. So the trick is the strong one, the stronger person stays down. And the less strong one will go up. Because sending it up means more energy than receiving. That's why I had to go up the kiln. And my brother kept on sending me the bricks from the lower part of the kiln. All the five holes in the kiln, this particular kiln had five holes, so all of them had to be lit. It is always good to light them at the same time, but it's also okay if one starts and then others follow on shortly. Constant supply of firewood is necessary if this kiln is to burn very very well a constant supply is vital so we have still to work as a team and always bro draw it closer to the people who are working
as you can see everyone is giving a hand everyone is busy that is it we have to work together to see that the bricks burn so well so whoever needs help someone is always there to give them that help it's team work this burning process takes 24 hours so from morning to the next morning we have to get meat and feed our helpers very well very well so most cases when they're burning bricks it is always a must i don't know why but i grew up when it's like that they have to eat very well have to like feast even sometimes they slaughter animals chicken goats drink local brew this is the komboti i told you about uh originally from south africa so it's also a local brew they love it so much it's said to be an energy drink they tell me so but i do not know about that i'm not so well versed about it but everything has to be there available for them and plenty of water because we are on fire for longer hours as it gets to evening we have to start preparing the food that we shall eat all through the night as we continue working hard putting in the firewood into the kiln and all that so we have to really prepare a good kind of food to rejuvenate the body because we are using a lot of energy a lot of strength remember it's going to be a sleepless night so we may need soup a lot of soup so this is what we are preparing meat some of them preferred roasting it and this is the roasted one that is ready what you see the gentleman doing is he is peeling banana we call them locally matoke so they preferred eating with eating this meat with matoke i preferred eating it with sweet potato so all was there as it got late i also got to roast my potato and took my bites little by little as you could see our fire was well lit and so it didn't need much of our attention we could take breaks at this point but not for so long and i always tell you sharing is caring so i had to share my sweet potato with one of our friends here we were working with and that is how friendship grows for those who wanted the roasted meat once it was ready they had to spice it up with raw onions and tomatoes i must tell you all roasted meat is always tasty kenyans call it kachumbari that is uh, raw onions with tomatoes by the time it was getting dark our fire was doing so well and there was so much progress registered but at this point honestly guys i could not film for you all through the night as we ran out of battery ninjas it's early morning i could not update you every step all the way through the night but i'm just from refreshing i've not yet even smeared any oil on but let's go and see what's happening my ninjas if you could remember all the firewood that was here it was all used as in it was all consumed like nothing was left this is the next morning and i must tell you our bricks are ready as you can see the gentlemen there are taking their breakfast they are resting because it was a long night of hard work and staying awake wow thank you so much for watching i hope i really try to take you through the final brick making processes like the burning of a kiln thank you so much for watching Irina tl and for supporting your village champion, your international content creator, your one and only, the village belay. It's your gallery, Natiel, and I sign.